putting water to hydration. Hydration is good. Now painting and painting. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to be seated us. Today I'm going to patch this stack of holes and also I'm going to paint it. Today I'm going to paint it. Um, I have inspection later on today, but if you want to see how I do that, stick around. Stay until the video finish and then you can see everything that you do, don't miss out. So he was a patches before and I will try my best to keep it, you know, as soon as most I can do, like a better wa uh, work. And um, yeah, here. And um, here the bottom was a huge hole. It was three one, three hole, little holes, and I make it just one. And um, you know, I just make one whole thing together. On my way, the inspector what what he wanna see, what he wanna say. So let's let's see what the inspector said. <clears throat> we talk about from there. I have the paint in here. It's ever chill, flat. Uh, and that, that is said exterior from Dan Edward. I'm not doing a publish from Dan, to Dan Edward, but uh, the homeowner has this paint. Uh, and I'm going to try to use this paint without primer. I know we have to put primer on it, but I'm going to try to put it without primer. So here we go. We have done for it. was a little complicated on these areas. I couldn't break too much the yeah. paper, but I, I blew it. Okay. I put a coffee and okay. ordered the same thing. All right, get your nails off right there. Your nail? Yeah, I nailed it. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Okay. That looks good, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these areas, we want to give it more, more like, Overlap, yeah, but you can have for the post that kind of stuff like this. Time. Yeah, that's really good. Also, with the window, too. Yeah, you got the end, you got the eve. You're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I'll sign uh, you off. All you right, thank good. you. Is your cord on the garage? It's on the front door. Okay, yeah. All right, the inspector signed me off already, and I'm going to do the cement and the stacco and ready to go. All right, so I might go to put a speed on my video because um, I want to do that way. That's going to be more faster. And um, but we're going to be talking about the stack of film here because I'm putting my voice over on my video. Uh, sound editing. This video was original in Spanish, but I I, um, I just speak English with the inspector and uh, with the homeowner sound time. And um, all right, we will, well, we will see from there. I'm going to do an um, um, speed camera and um, and see from there. This is uh, the rapid set cement. This is uh, delay 15 minutes to dry, but uh, I'm running out of time now because we have a many plenty job inside the house and we're gonna continue inside. We have a plastic all over, cover everything. We have to finish inside. And, um, and I'm not sure if I can finish this stacko today. All right. Alrighty. So this is the next day. Yesterday I couldn't um, make it done. Um, but this stacko is really dry already. Very dry. I'm going to put a second coat, like the brown coat. And then am I going to do that stacko? Am I still using the rapid set cement? But I'm going to put water to do hydration on it. And um, this is it's, it cracks that I have to cracks, so it's good. Now I'm going to do the brown, and I'm going to a speed. I'm going to do a um, fast speed camera, and um, let's see you from there.
Alright, I'm going to do the final call. Ah, uh, this is uh, gonna be the Rappi set stacko, and it doesn't have a texture, it's just going flooring. All right, now it's gonna be the painting time. It go over like two hours. We wait for a lot of time. And uh, I'm going to cut it. This window, is still have the original cooking. And uh, this brush is called uh, Worcester. It doesn't, it's not too much expensive, like $14, but it's a good brush. To do the straight line, you have to have cooking beside the, the window and the stacko, but in this case, the window still have his own caulking, so I might go to use the same caulking to keep a straight line, um, you know, it's kind of looking good, believe me. Some painters like to do the, the rolling first, but for my personal opinion, I like to do the cutting first, the line, and then I roll up, that's my opinion. Let me know in the comment down below what's your opinion. And don't forget to give me a like. Because I'm going to do more videos. Alright, I'm ready to, to, to do the rolling stuff. I don't have the screen, I just gotta use it like that. I have a 3 quarter roller uh, with the same brand, Worcester. Uh, this one is from Home Depot. And I'm doing publicity at Home Depot, by the way. But, uh, but this is a really, really good um, roller, it got a, a good texture on it and uh, for the stacko patches it's really good because it's stick, sticking the paint into the stacko and um, see over here I didn't cover it and the breezes come to the window that's why I do it slowly slowly I don't want to mess up on the window. I don't want to mess up on the window. What do you oh, think? Very good. Yeah. She's good. I had plenty of paint, huh? Yeah. 
And you then just one brush. You have plenty, yeah. And then just one little brush load on the front. Oh, I, I remember on the main line. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do that. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah, even being as fresh, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> good we had the paint still. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, All right, everybody, that was it for today. And uh, if you came to this end of this video, thank you very much. I hopefully you like it. You like it. And uh, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel to see future videos, share this video with somebody with you think you need it. And uh, thank you for watching. And God bless you. And see you on the next. Bye.